In this lesson, I want to introduce you to something else that the NXT robots can do called data logging. This isn't really programming, but it is a cool way to collect data using your NXT that you may want to try using in your classroom. I'm just going to give you a taste of data logging here so you can get a feel for how it works. There's a lot more to data logging than I'm going to cover here, but this lesson will show you how to do some basic data logging experiments with your students. Data logging allows you to record a series of measurements made by your robot sensors and then export those measurements to a spreadsheet where you can do whatever you like with them. In this lesson, I'm going to record measurements from my ultrasonic sensor. Okay, so to start off data logging, you want to click on this little area right up here at the top left that is the switch to data logging. So I'll just click on that, and that starts up the data logging. Um, and I want to start a new experiment, and it has the default experiment one. I'm just going to go with that. So I'll click Go. And here's my experiment. Um, the title is Experiment 1, and what I want to do is I need to switch it up at the top here. It says None. I'm going to switch that so that it says I want to use my ultrasonic sensor. My ultrasonic sensor is plugged into port 4, so I'm going to switch to that. And I can actually click on this inch or centimeters to change it. I'll collect data in centimeters. Why not? Um, my duration, I'm going to collect data for 10 seconds, and let's collect five samples per second. So I'm going to say OK. And now we're ready to start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of paper that's nice and big so I know I'll reflect the, uh, the robot's ultrasonic sensor well. Um, and I'm just going to click on the play button here, and that'll get us started. So we download, and then it'll start running right away. And now you can see we're collecting data. As I move the paper further and further away, the distance increases. As I move it closer, it goes down. As I move it further away, it increases again. There we go. That's our 10 seconds. Now I can actually change the scale here so it's just for what we used rather than uh, rather than the full scale available. So I can write down here, there's a little button. And right now it's going from 0 to 255 centimeters. But if I click on that button again, it just goes for the distances that we used, which was 14 centimeters to about 38. But that's just us looking at it. The interesting thing is that we can save this. So I'm going to go to the File menu and say Save As. And it wants me to save this in my logs, but I'm actually going to put it on my desktop. Oops. So I'll go to my desktop. And I'm just going to save it as experiment one. So I'll say OK. Now, if I look um, in my finder on my desktop, you'll see I have a file called experiment1.log. Now what I'm going to do is I want to look at that data. So I'm going to open up Microsoft Excel. And I'm going to say File Open. And I'm going to go to my desktop. And I want to open up that experiment.log. Now, on your computer, your version of Excel, it may have, um, instead of all files selected, it may say all readable documents. And it may have experiment one grayed out or may not show you it at all. What you need to do is you need to switch it so that it says All Files down here at the bottom. Once you select All Files, you can say, OK, let me select that, and I'm going to say Open. And even though it's not an Excel file, Excel's pretty smart. Um, and most of the time, if you just say Finish at this point, you'll get a nice data file. So let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. There we go, that's 200%. You start out, there's a bunch of, of information about stuff that I don't really care about too much right now. You can look at that later if you want. But the important thing is right here. At some point, you get to a, uh, a line where it says time and your ultrasonic sensor in port 4. So at time 0, my ultrasonic sensor in port 4 was at a distance of 20. Let me make this slightly bigger so you can see it. Let me just make the font way bigger. 
There we go. So as you can see, at times zero, my ultrasonic sensor was at a distance of 20 centimeters. Times 0.24 and 6, I was at 17. I didn't move much. And then I started moving, 18, 19, 21. And so you can see all this data is right here in a spreadsheet. And you can save that spreadsheet now and get your students to do all sorts of interesting analyses on it. So that's it. Give data logging a try.